Penn State. Let's move, let's move on and talk about the fighting yesies. The fighting yesies from State College. Penn State 35, Utah 21. What a great Rose Bowl. Some of you think that the Rose Bowl is overrated. I am not among you. I would encourage you to go make the trip. I would encourage you to ask yourself what you love about college football. And then I would ask you how the Rose Bowl doesn't exude it. I didn't grow up in the Big Ten. I didn't grow up in the Pac-12. I grew up in, in rural Georgia. So I'm the, I'm the least among you who should be celebrating the propaganda that is Rose Bowl coverage. But I love it. Absolutely love it. So this was the first Rose Bowl win for Penn State since 1994. I was provided a little list here. And this is an interesting list. Before I read you the list, formulate in your own mind what you think about James Franklin and what you think about Penn State. Let me give you two more seconds. One, two, okay, we're done with that. Now, I want you to listen to this list. Since 2014, there are only five teams with three or more New Year's Six Bowl wins. One of them is Bama. One of them is Ohio State. One of them is Clemson. One of them is Georgia. And the fifth, Penn State. It's not a bad list to be a part of. I know you don't think Penn State is the equal of those other programs. I didn't tell you they were. I don't think most of you would suggest James Franklin is the equal of those other head coaches. I didn't tell you he is. I'm simply trying to illustrate to you this program's not nearly as far off and has not been as far off as the all-or-nothing crowd, the feast or famine crowd out there would lead you to believe. This was... I believe Sean Clifford at his very best, certainly this year, and maybe even in his career. Thus the value of playing in bowl games. There was never a threat he was going to opt out, but there were, there were a lot of reasons watching him yesterday to be happy for him. And there's a lot of excitement around Penn State, obviously. We're going to enter the Drew Aller era now. Big-time quarterback talent hasn't proven anything yet. I've got confidence he will. Everybody else up there has confidence he will. But that's for another day. It was nice to see this. That's just, it's authentic college football. That's what it is. 80 plus yard passing touchdown, 80 plus yard rushing touchdown. Penn State had one of each yesterday. It's never happened in the history of the Rose Bowl in the same game for a team to do both of those things. So Penn State finishes 11 and two. Unfortunately, the two losses were the big games. They got blown out at Michigan and they lost to Ohio State. Okay, you can either be in one of two camps. You can either think that that defines a team, and you can think that that means they're totally overrated and they don't belong in any conversation whatsoever when it comes to contenders, or you can be in the camp I happen to reside in and say all that means is they weren't as good as Michigan and Ohio State. Those two teams both made the playoff. So you fell shorter than two playoff teams. Elsewhere, you took care of business, including beating the Pac-12 champ. And um, I think that's pretty good. Notice, notice the coded language I use when I talk about Penn State. I never say they're great. I never say they're elite. I never talk about them as being a bona fide playoff contender. I just don't call them trash. I don't call them overrated because it's dumb to talk about Penn State that way. Okay? In reality, in college football, there are several tiers. It's not tier one playoff teams and tier two everyone else. That's not the way it works. That is a casual point of reference. Penn State is a lot closer to being in that tier one than they are to being trash. And now we're moving into an era where you, you start putting out the boxes next to that team, and a lot of them are checked. There, there are very few X's, and there aren't a ton of question marks. So if they can keep that staff together, they've already got a great nucleus of talent. And what are we headed into? We're headed into an era, which we'll talk about later in the show, where I'm not, I'm not sure what the status of Michigan's going to be. First, we have to get the Harbaugh NFL stuff sorted out. Again, I'm going to talk about that later. Um, Ryan Day and Ohio State still have not proven uh, that they're able of fully maximizing the potential of that program. I think they are, but that doesn't matter because they haven't proven it yet in the form of winning a title. Penn State had Ohio State on the ropes at various points in that game earlier this year. So it's not, it's not a gap of miles. It's a gap of feet. Maybe not inches yet, but feet. They can make that up. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. Make sure you like the video and please subscribe to the channel. Not just for me. That's how we keep this entire thing free.